and hello everyone. Tuner dans le vide. Andrew Tate is who we're covering today. So if you are someone on the internet in the year of our Lord 2023, uh, and especially coming out of 2022, you've probably heard of a little guy called Andrew Tate. He is not a good person, a uh, very bad person, very not good person, as you can imagine why I'm covering him. So, to those of you who do not know, Andrew Tate is a, uh, uh, how, how do we put him, chat? How do we put him? He is someone who has been accused of sex trafficking, and I'm saying accused so that I don't get sued. Um, my opinions on that were probably made more clear in other places, but let me just say Rip Bozo, okay? So, he recently got into a beef with Greta Thunberg, who is a, I believe she's 19 years old, because I remember someone saying that she's like a teenager, and I was like, I thought she was in her 20s, she's 19 years old, I looked that up. Um, yes, he's a slime ball. he's a horrible person, in chat here, by the way, I stream on Fridays, or Saturdays or Fridays and Saturdays. So if you want to get in on here, you can, you can do that. Yeah, just watch them, um, on YouTube. But he recently got arrested by the Romanian police because he got into a beef with climate activist Greta Thunberg, and he got a a pizza, and from like a local pizza chain, and he ended up getting arrested like an absolute fool. So. We all know the story. It's very comical. We've all seen the videos of Andrew Tate being escorted out of his property, which I will bring up now because I find them very funny myself. I think it's hilarious. The Andrew Tate arrest makes no sense. Okay, that's what y'all say. I hope CNN has not copyrighted this. Don't give me an ad, dude. Don't give me an ad, dude. Please don't give me an ad. I'm going to be really mad if you give me an ad. Oh, it's a segment. It's a segment. Oh, it's a CNN segment. Come on, just give me the video of him getting arrested. Yeah, see, look at him. Look at Bozo. Look at Bozo. Rip Bozo. Rip Bozo. Okay. But for real, let's talk about Andrew Tate as a person. We are already two minutes into this. I'm going to tell you all my experience with Andrew Tate, so... The first time I saw Andrew Tate, it was immediately chutty stuff, you yeah. The issue with Andrew Tate's content, though, and not necessarily his content, but the content people upload of him, because he has a bigger clip industrial complex than Hassan, dude. It is insane the amount of people who will upload Andrew Tate clips. It's crazy, you yeah. The issue with Andrew Tate is that a lot of the people who upload clips of him, and I've seen this because I watch YouTube Shorts, because I'm attention deficit, and YouTube Shorts is like designed to just suck people in who are attention deficit. But a lot of the clips that you come across of Andrew Tate on YouTube Shorts aren't always the most insane, crazy stuff. He will say some weird stuff, but mostly it's just him saying, hey, like, get your life together, yada, 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 yelling at people. But, like, in a way that I feel like a lot of men might think is, like, a good thing. And I feel like he uses that stuff, and that's the reason why his cronies like to upload that stuff, to suck people deeper into his political beliefs, is what ends up happening. So, you have some clips of, like, Andrew Tate giving, like, very basic advice that you can get in, like any kind of you could go on like a quora and see advice like that and then people get like sucked in like that you heard about andrew tate from roblox that's kind of sad um but yeah every straight guy yeah that's the thing about it andrew tate mostly appeals to a very particular brand of men it's like jordan peterson fans like kind of dejected not knowing what they're doing with life suffering under like late stage capitalism kind of just like s crap job crap relationships with people feel like their life is going nowhere and like don't like how much they're getting paid they're not getting paid their worth because no one is 
and Andrew Tate takes these people and he like sucks them in. It's like that. Um, it's like that Dave Chappelle skit. Fuck Dave Chappelle. It's like that Dave Chappelle skit where it's like, gotcha, bitch. It's like that, and he like gives like some bait. It's like some kind of decent advice, and then like the moment the guy's like, ooh, this is kind of decent. <laughs> And then he yanks him over, and then he's like, okay, what color's your Bugatti? Yeah, and, and like shit like that, yeah. Andrew Tate appeals to a very specific kind of person, and I feel like we need to address that a lot more. Because, and this is an issue that I see in multiple different spaces when it comes to politics, there are a lot of people who could very easily become left-wing that end up going right-wing. Um, or at least right leaning because we didn't get to them um that's the thing with figures like say jordan peterson a lot of people uh, feel like their life isn't going anywhere and they like self-help so if they're listening to self-help stuff and then jordan peterson sucks them in that's how it was with debate content for a long time how many of y'all watch debate streamers all of y'all i'm a debate streamer um and one thing that was really popular was like a Ben Shapiro rec compilations a couple of years ago. And that sucked people in because we weren't filling the niche. What the left needs to start doing is filling the niche of, of self-help. Telling people, hey, your life isn't going the way that you like it, but it's not because of women or globalists or anything like that it's because capitalism sucks you're being exploited you need to build community ties you need to get with people and you need to not be a piece of shit you need to not be discriminatory but the left sometimes does that but we don't have any specific content creators dedicated to that we don't have our own jordan petersons we don't have our own andrew tates the closest that you get to that is like on the left is like fucking Slavoj Žižek talking about like fucking like some esoteric thing about how something and he isn't even self-help it's Slavoj Žižek he's just based um when it comes down to it that is a niche that needs to be filled and I think it would be pretty cool if someone got into that I think I'm a little too set in my ways to fill that niche but if someone else wants to fill that niche more power to you more power to you and i want you to do that but when it comes down to it andrew tate being arrested is a good thing and this stream beat just scared the crap out of me because it's called deafening silence and i like a song by serge tonkin called deafening silence and i thought that's what was playing for a second and i was about to say that is very copyright and i'm so screwed um but it's not but when it comes down to it, uh, Andrew Tate being arrested is a good thing. A lot of women that he predated on are going to be saved. Uh, his content will still likely be pushed out by those clip industrial complexes, which again, bigger than Hassan's. Um, but his content is still going to get pushed out, most likely from those people, but it's going to be to a lesser extent. He's going to end up dying off, especially as his trial goes on especially as he's found guilty of the things that he's been charged of because i'm very sure innocent until proven hold up does romania have innocent until proven guilty fucker was charged in romania i might be able to scare it any person shall be presumed innocent until oh Thank you, modern legal codes. Okay. <sighs> Legally innocent until proven guilty, so I'm not going to say anything so I don't get sued, but, uh... Listen, he didn't get that money in in normal ways, let's just say that, okay? So, when it comes down to it, Andrew Tate getting arrested. Good thing. Screw him. Let him rot in jail, and uh, that's ultimately what it is. Anyways, if you like this stream, make sure to like it. And hit that subscribe button if you want to subscribe. Hit the bell icon. I stream on Fridays or Saturdays or Fridays and Saturdays. Depends on how I'm feeling that week. You can join live stream chat with these people if you do it as 
well as this, I upload segments on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You can see when they go live in the Discord server, which I am also active in. Follow me on Twitter, too, so that you can see my bad takes. And with that being said, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.